go in the poison entrails throw. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. Fill it up a penny snip in the cauldron boil and bake. I have newt and whole frog, good or bad, and tall or dog. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, which is money, mine, gold. Of the raven, half sea sark, shoot of hemlock, dig die in the dark. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn. Mend your pains, and every one I the gains. And now about the cauldron sing, like elves and fairies in the ring, enchanting. Double sure, and take a bond of fate. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale hearted fear it lies and sleep in spite of thunder. What is this that rises like the issue of a king and wears upon his baby brow the round and top of sovereignty? Listen and speak not to it! Be lion meddled, proud, and take no care who chafes who frets, or where conspirers are. Macbeth shall never vanquished be until great Burnham Wood to high Dunsinane shall come against him. That will never be! Who can impress the forest, bid the tree unfix his earthbound root? If my heart throbs to know one thing, tell me, if your art can tell so much, Shall Banquo's issue ever re reign in this kingdom? Seek to know no more! I will be satisfied! Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall on you. Let me know! Why sinks that cauldron? And what noise is this? Show! 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 Show his eyes and grave his heart! Come like a shadow, so depart! Thou art too like the spirit of Banquo down, that thy crown does sear mine eyeballs and thy hair. Thou other gold-bound brows is like the first, and a third is like the former. Filthy hands, 
A four. Start. Eyes. What? What will the line stretch out to the crack of doom? And yet, a, a seventh! I, I will see no more! And yet the eighth appears, who bears a glass which shows me many more. And some I see, the two-fold balls and treble scepters carry. Horrible sight! Now I see tis true, for thy blood bolted Banquo smiles upon me and points at them for his. What? Is this so? Aye, sir, all this is so, but why stands Macbeth thus amazedly? Come, sisters, cheer me up his sparks, and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give a sound while you perform your antic round, that this great king may only say our duties did his welcome pay. This pernicious hour stand I accustomed the calendar. Come in without there! What is your will, my grace? Saw you the weird sisters? No, my lord. Came they not by you? No, indeed, my lord. Confected be the air whereon they ride, and damned all those that trust them. I did hear the galloping of horse. Who was came by? Uh, tis two or three, my lord, that bring you word Macduff has fled to England. Fled to England. Aye, my good lord. Time thou until the paidest my dread exploits. The flighty purpose never is overtook unless the deed go with it. From this moment, the very firstlings of my heart shall be the firstlings of my hand. And even now, to crown my thoughts with axe be it thought and done. The castle of Macduff I will surprise. Seize upon fight. Give to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like a fool, this deed I'll do before this purpose cool. But no more sights. Where are these gentlemen? 